another week we are busy this week again so this week we're going to start making our bed frame we're going to make it out of metal it's going to be a three-piece structure and we're going to focus this week on the first piece which is going to be holding the mattress and hopefully we're also going to get time to get some painting done because the green machine hey, needs baby. to change <laughs> she needs she needs some light we're also going to paint everything black and everything's going to start looking a little bit more huh? less like a construction site i hope <laughs> anyway stay tuned we're going to get some stuff done baby whose shoes are you wearing nice <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is kind of what eventually we're going to have, which is going to be a metal frame that's going to create a wall between the office area and the bedroom area. That's phase two. This is phase one where we're going to do the main um, mattress holder. And then eventually we're also going to do a side table so that closes in this area. So this week we make this guy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is this frame which is 192 by 142 in millimeters sorry in centimeters we don't work in inches even though our bars are in inches which makes very things makes everything very confusing so if we manage to get those things cut and assembled today i'll be very happy Okay, so we are now figuring out how to do the pieces that go in the bed frame. The slats, I think that's what we call them. And we have some leftover wood from the framing of the container, so we're going to rather use wood than metal, because metal just gets really heavy after a while. So JB is just calculating what he needs, and we're going to figure out from there. Bad. You could sleep there every night? Mm, yeah. Just just confirm. Like I think you have to start off with the position you want to stay in the whole night. Uh, yeah, forever. Uh, forever. Forever. You don't put all your weight on one beam. One beam can't hold your all weight, but Yeah I can. No no. Yeah I can. I, I wouldn't. No no don't. Don't don't no, don't please. Oh no. I mean, I think this is like orthopedic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So, you can see the sun is just rising. <laughs> and what's really awesome about this place is that the, um, the warehouse opens really early. So, they are open at 7. So, I'm on my way now to go and pick up all the paint and everything else that we need for the next steps. So, I'm going to actually bring you along with us. We're going to go and choose a paint. We have decided on this color. Sophisticated fun. And yeah, so I'm going to go and take this with me to them. And then we're going to get all the paint done and a whole bunch of stuff. I also want to go and pick up some plants. So I'm going to take you with me there. So you can kind of see what happens in the back end of everything.
so I've just managed to get a whole bunch of plants my problem is that I have to fit it all in the Germany so I obviously have only a certain amount that I can take at a time um, which is fine um, so I'm really excited to start planting because one of our things was if we cut down a tree we have to replant a tree so we now have about 10 plants <laughs> to plant and I'm super super excited to start getting a little jungle back to jungle life after all that mud so this place is amazing it's one of the only nurseries that are in Osara so if you're ever in the area come down because it's so beautiful here they got so many different types of plants look at that yep I am going to be driving with a jungle in my car <laughs> this is gonna be fun I'm making me very itchy so let's go let's get these guys look you even got a little thing in here inside there <laughs> wow okay so i just got back home and we've got all of these now to plant Yesterday we managed to get the four feet ready for the bed. Hope it's the right size. It took a little bit a long time because here we are tr really trying to reuse as much as possible to avoid waste as much as possible. So I reused some of this beam we use for I don't know what, so we are quite dirty and some get some like hold. So I take extra time to clean, cut, reuse, reprocess material to give them a second life, but fits already. And today it's time for Tash to weld the fit. Ready for welding? Yeah. We also cleaned it yesterday. So it looks so much yeah, nicer. Yeah, and Tash cleaned all the welded, welding. So that's almost look like a bed frame. <laughs> Okay, so the bed is done, or well, kind of done. Now I need to go and paint it. So JB is going to just remove the wood pieces so that we can paint it nice and tightly. Time to start painting the container. Yeah. Green machine is going. Does she notice the things I notice? How she practices piano on her thigh Imagining the keys inside her mind Does she notice The things I notice How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet Searching for solutions silence but I'm here I'm here ah it's so bright <laughs> need shade where are you where is the shade good morning everybody so another day obviously <laughs> Um, the plan of action for me today is just to seal in a little bit of concrete by the door frame and then to start finishing the painting of the container which is very exciting because it's going to change 
Yay. So sexy, a man in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Travel and a bucket. And a bucket, wow. It's time to get rid of the green container. You excited too, Rusty? Why are you excited too? Look. Hi guys. Hi guys. So let's hope we chose the right color. Oh no, this is not the dogs. Oh no. What? He's like, what is this stuff? Can I eat it? No. Okay, this is definitely not the right one. One of the things, um, a comment actually we had was how do we go about doing this? How do we learn how to do these things? And honestly, YouTube, <laughs> where you guys are at at the moment. We've been using so much YouTube to like figure out how to do things and how to learn to weld. Also word of mouth and like speaking to some friends, like our friend Titi has given us a ton of advice when it comes to welding. He actually showed me how to get my first welding machine and he gave me like a little introduction course into how to weld and then it's just learning and trying and that was the whole point of this project was to learn and to explore and to be creative and to have as much fun as possible so it's time to carry on painting are you ready our paint is ready by the way do you guys like the new color i love it comment below if you agree or if you think we should do something different so we're not going to do anything different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Painting time. What are you doing? Opening the Why? kitchen. <laughs> so our plan for this week is to design the kitchen. But I don't think it's going to take us a week. Oh, it's going to take us a lot more than a week. Yeah. One week to think, and three weeks to execute, yeah. and years to finish. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful Saturday morning and this beautiful day we're gonna get AC or aircon as some people call it very 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 excited because working in the container even though insulated can get a little warm so the only thing is that they're gonna be putting the AC on this wall the plywood isn't 100% fixed yet because obviously we're still waiting for the nail gun so it's going to be quite interesting because also that bar is not 100 percent linked so i'm actually waiting for jb just to get back to maybe suggest putting another um wood beam removing this plywood putting some more reinforcement beams inside here just so that we make sure that we won't run into any issues of the of the ac falling off because that would be awful and the other thing we're also doing because there's so many things happening on the land now because it's not just one big project anymore there's a lot of smaller projects and yeah so we're still busy working on the the holes but they're now dug thank you Rusty and we're also going to be getting the fence soon so that's one of the things we need to go and do today is mark off where all the different beams are going to be going in so yeah it's a week of a lot of small projects I would call it. <laughs> 
before we start doing the deck next week and then the week after we're going to be doing the kitchen so that is it so we decided to do that extra beam just because we want to make sure that the AC is not going to fall off while we're sleeping and yeah so we're busy making very simple little owl brackets hey sexy <laughs> so the AC is going to go there and I think that's going to help a lot with yeah I have no idea how we're going to fix it so we're going to have to figure out with the guy the yeah. fixing system but everything's ready so we're just waiting for them to arrive yeah AC good, guys good. have arrived look at that space So yesterday I made the concrete slab, my first concrete slab on my own and today they're installing the AC on it so it was good, we still have to input, make the hole and that'll be good. So as you may not have seen but things didn't went as planned. The concrete slab I did was not good enough because I didn't use enough cement because I didn't add enough so it was a bit too weak it was getting like sandy so we have to go for plan B and this is where Tash saved the day once again <laughs> so oh, yeah. this is initial plan this is at the end the final design so we had to weld this bar to put the AC and to stabilize because that was the only quick fix. Yeah, but I'm kind of happy about that because there is a lot of water that comes here during rain season. I didn't really want water hitting that, so I think it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, in a way. So now we still have to paint, find a way to hide this, cover the box, but yeah, that's it. But jb has got some plans up his sleeve, so we'll do that next All right, week. for sure. So that was a pretty fantastic week. Yeah. Yeah. Job's done, huh? We're gonna probably leave you on that one. And we'll see you next week. I hope. I'll oh. see you next week. <laughs> so you have to be there next week because we will be there. And we'll be making a. What are we making? A deck. Oh, deck. Yeah. See you next week to see my deck. <laughs> Ciao.